Welcome to my first book vlog. While most YouTubers are presenting fails and eating ridiculous foods, I'd like to present something different. Today, for my first book vlog, I would like to talk about Speak by Louise Hassey Anderson. It is my first morning of high school. I have seven new notebooks, a skirt I hate, and a stomach ache. The kids behind me laugh so loud. I know they're laughing about me. I can't help myself. I turn around. It's Rachel. Surrounded by a bunch of kids wearing clothes that most definitely did not come from the East Side Mall. Rachel Byrne. My ex-best friend. She stares at something above my left ear. Words climb up my throat. This was the girl who suffered through brownies with me. Who taught me how to swim. Who understood about my parents. Who didn't make fun of my bedroom. If there was anyone in the entire galaxy I'm dying to tell what really happened, it's Rachel. My throat burns. Bop! A lump of potatoes and gravy hits me square in the center of my chest. All conversation stops and the entire lunchroom gawks, my face burning into their retinas. I will forever be known as that girl who got nailed by potatoes on the first day. The basketball pole apologizes and says something else. But 400 people explode in laughter. I can't read lips. I ditch my tray and bolt out the door. Mr. Neck makes a note in his book. I knew you were trouble from the first time I saw you. I've taught here for 24 years, and I can tell what's going on in a kid's head by looking in their eyes. No more warnings. You just earned a demerit for wandering the halls without a pass. Now, I know what you're thinking. It sounds really angsty. And a lot of young adult fiction is. But, behind all the angst is a reason for the angst. I'm not going to tell you what that reason is, because that would spoil a significant portion of the book. But I will tell you that our protagonist is not angsty and complainy just for the sake of complaining. We don't have another Katniss Everdeen who just whines and you wonder why she deserves anyone at the end. We're talking about a girl who faces real problems that real kids face. It's worth the read both for the young adults that are watching, as you can experience along with her, not really the situations that she's going through, and as adults who work with youth. Because, well, Mr. Neck jumped to a really big conclusion based on the pain in someone's eyes. And hopefully, adults can read about real situations that happen to real kids and then have a better understanding of what might be going through someone's life when they want to make that snap judgment. I fully encourage you to go out and find Speak at your local library or your local bookstore. And feel free to leave a comment if you've read it before or if you're reading it for the first time, what you thought. Please do not spoil the book for others. Let them go on the journey themselves.